I'm just feeding my chickens. This is Adventure Man from Adventure Man Productions. You know the Hmong eat pigeons, the Hmong hill tribes. Get them in the backyard sometimes. Some people use them as pets. Some people use them to communicate. They have like uh, little messages they pin to their legs and they fly to another location and they retrieve the message. Sort of like the competition to the post office. Probably faster than an email. Without the virus. Anyway, I'm feeding my chickens here. They do look tasty. They got a lot of meat on them compared to a seagull or a pelican. They're all feathers. It's springtime and they're in the mating mode. I think they have a green necks with a purple. So it's green, then purple, then gray. But they're very a quiet, docile bird. And uh, if they come up to you, then that's a good sign that you don't pose a threat to them. They're, they trust you. Not like other birds, you never have a seagull come close to you or any other kind of bird they run away when they see you. So pigeons are probably the only bird that comes towards humans. It's probably because uh, we call them flying rats and we feed them. <laughs> anyway, that's some corn chips that I ground up. They like that stuff. Oh, that little boxing thing going on there, or a courtship or whatever that's going on. So it's this little community feast. It's something relaxing to watch birds eat. You gotta ground up the food pretty good because they they don't like big stuff. It's gotta be like microscopic. Like the size of a grain of rice or smaller. Those two right there keep squaring off with each other. Humans should get along as well as birds. I think the statue of St. Francis of Assisi is feeding the pigeons. Got a new pope named Francis. He's a former Jesuit. He's like uh, turning everything upside down the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully we'll straighten everything out. I 
think there's nine billion people in the world and two billion are Catholic. Hey, hey, look over. What you, what you chewing on that other bird's head for, man? Got lots of food left on the ground there. They do got some pretty colors in pigeons though. Sometimes you see a white one with pink eyes. Sometimes you see a, a brown and white one. But they have the prettiest colors. I think even they call rubies, some rubies pigeon blood rubies or something like that. They're just pecking at the corn and pecking on each other. I guess that's what they call the pecking order that we even have in the human world. Pecking order. The boss being the top pecker. <laughs> And it goes downhill from there. Then they make that pigeon noise or sound. The cooing of the pigeons. It must be how they communicate. <laughs> <laughs> 